Hello everyone, uh, as usual in this screencast I'm going to go through the sample code for this application that you've seen in the blog post that I basically have created because I thought it would be pretty cool to create an application that is not in English almost almost all of the examples that we've got in the Tropos blog are based in English and however one of the advantages of Tropo against its competitors it's the superb support for internationalization uh, as you can create application actually in 24 different languages so you can do text to speech and speech recognition in all those languages which is pretty cool so I decided to create a, a restaurant finder application in Spanish uh, so it will showcase this support basically this application is pretty simple and imagine that you are lost and you don't have an, a, a smartphone and you have to go to a restaurant but you don't know where that restaurant is so you could call this application the application what it's going to do is to prompt you for a city name uh, you tell the name of the city then the application is going to use a Spanish directory service to load the lists of the list of restaurants in that city and it's going to prompt you for a restaurant name so you tell the restaurant name and finally the application is going to tell you the, the phone number of that restaurant additionally uh, one could change which is actually a one-liner will be to transfer your call automatically to that restaurant so I've deployed this application is ready here so you can call this phone number and you can you can test it yourself I'm going to use Skype uh, the application is deployed in Cloud Foundry which has great uh, Grail support right the application is done in Grails in this case and um, well basically uh, the first thing what's going to happen when someone calls this phone number is that it's going to be redirected to this slash tropo action so if I go to my controller the slash tropo basically is this index there is a mapping uh, of you a URL mapping DOM uh, what the application does is the first thing it's going to do is actually load this uh, cities oh, come on is going to actually load uh, I'm trying to zoom right uh, is going to actually load uh, this series.txt file which is a, a text file is a comma separated text file in which I added there uh, the list of Spanish cities with more than 10,000 people uh, I've downloaded that city that uh, cities list from the internet so there is nothing special on that so it actually, well, it actually writes the, the series and transforms them uh, into a comma separated list and then with that list I basically build a choices statement here so I tell the, the users alright, welcome to our service, restaurant service and tell us the name of a city and the uh, available choices are actually that, that list of cities, right? if everything goes fine and the actual the speech recognition engine is able to to recognize the name of the city the user is redirected to this second action slash tropo slash restaurant which is here restaurant and what we do here is basically read the incoming JSON from tropo in which we can find the actual the actual place which is this one, proper request.result.actions.value. Now, with that place, I build a map, right? That method is actually here. I build a map with the um, restaurants in that place. How do I build that map? Well, I'm calling this uh, cool service, which is 11870, which is a service that provides you uh, actual real data of real businesses in Spain so you can for example there is this entry in which you pass the name of a place and it gives you all the restaurants of that place so I only have to use the nice groovy 
uh, parsing features, XML parsing features to actually get that XML back and transform that into a map, a map of restaurant names and telephone numbers. Now, with that map, back here, with that map, I get the names of the restaurants into a list here, and I use that list again in a choices. So I basically ask the user, all right, tell us the name of a restaurant in this place and the available choices are the actual names of the restaurants. Now, uh, there is a, for a further improvement that could be done here, which is basically like create combinations of the restaurant names, like for example, to detect typos. Like if you have a, a restaurant which is a male name, you could try to you know create variations or are, uh, add it, or add to the restaurant names like common prefixes. Like for example, imagine that uh, uh, the name of a restaurant is the pirate. So in Spanish you could say bar the pirate or restaurant the pirate or you know uh, people can use can can basically use different terms to refer to the same restaurant, which adds complexity to the actual recognition in this case. But that's a further improvement. Now. If everything uh, goes fine, the actual user is redirected to slash tropo slash info, which is pretty much the same. What happens is that tropo sends, out, uh, sends us a JSON message with the actual recognition result. So I get the restaurant name from the request results actions that value, and with that main with that name, I actually access the the map that I had stored in the sessions, and I get. The, the phone number. Uh, last thing I do is I do is basically to say that phone number, like the phone number of these restaurants is this number, and that is it. So it, it is pretty simple. So the last thing I can do here uh, is actually to call is actually to call the number. So le let me open Skype. I'm going to call a phone. Let me go back to Tropo. Get that phone number. I'm going to use Skype and let's call it. Bienvenido al servicio de información sobre restaurantes. Diga el nombre de una ciudad. Betanzos. Díganos el nombre de un restaurante en Betanzos. La casilla. El teléfono de la casilla es más 34 981 77 01 61. Gracias por utilizar nuestro servicio de información sobre restaurantes. All right, so as you have seen, it's quite simple, uh, and I think it, in a few lines, like here, is in less than a hundred lines, we managed to do really cool things, like for example create an application with text-to-speech in Spanish, speech recognition in Spanish, that uses an external service to actually pull information from it and use that information to create a cooler service, like it's a nice example of mashup. And I really hope you like it. I really hope you enjoyed this example. Thanks very much.